So I like the combination of chemistry, science and the law that um, being a, a patent lawyer offered. So I then made the decision after my postdoc finished to take a one year conversion course which basically gave me the equivalent of a law degree and then qualified as a barrister but specialising in IP law. So, so my specialty is trademarks, um, copyrights, patents. Um, so there is a scientific aspect to it. And I think having the sort of chemistry, science, PhD background just generally helps speak to people, ask the right questions, take in the information and organise it. So even if it's not what you've dealt with before, having that background helps. Um, and I certainly found it's a great career path from chemistry to the law to be what I am now actually is, and I'm qualified as barrister, I'm now actually an IP solicitor. So the type of patent cases that we get coming in uh, and that I've dealt with, there's a, there's a wide range. So we get pharmaceutical cases. And we also deal with a lot of telecommunications cases as well, which is far removed from my sort of chemistry background. But still, I think the sort of training that I got through my chemistry degree, through my PhD as well, sort of helps just analyse these sort of things as well, to put the facts down, to sort these things out, um, and to produce an end result to get at the end of the day for the client. I've definitely been using my degree in my day-to-day -day life. And also another great thing about the job is that I've not just been doing chemical work. I've also undertaken some work in sort of mechanical inventions and also some simple electronics as well, which is an area that I don't think I would have been exposed to had I chosen to pursue any other career. So I'm going back to university in September for three months to go to do a, a certificate in intellectual property law at Queen Mary University of London. And then after that, there's the UK exams to be qualified as a UK patent attorney. Then after that, there's the European exams to be qualified as a European patent attorney. And then after that, um, I'll hopefully be fully qualified. I mean, uh, I hear the exams are quite tough, so uh, I'll have to put in a lot of work, but um, no, I'm, sure, uh, I'm sure it'll be fine and I'll, uh, and I'll enjoy it. And yeah, as I said, just hopefully progress within the firm.